the original site, I was told, was down over this way. Somewhere across the street and it burnt down. Okay, so right behind me is Cotton's Barbecue in Eclectic, Alabama. Um, it is this just local barbecue joint. It looks like it's pretty bumping. It's lunchtime right now. Um, so we have a few errands to go run, but I think we're gonna come back tonight and try it out um, and see what it's like to actually dine inside at Cotton's. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells good. So this actually used to be an old gas station, an old Texaco maybe. Now it's a barbecue truck. Put your feet on the rug. Please wipe mud on the rug. This is cool. What are you going with? Hamburger steak. Let's see. I'm gonna go barbecue plate. This is cool. They definitely followed the rules. It, has, it hasn't changed. This is exactly how I remember having to walk this long and through a bunch of wood. And we used to always pick up food here. I've never even actually eaten inside. I kind of like it. It's cozy. Yeah. It's I guess they have a bunch of shirts and stuff for sale just on a table sitting out by the cash oh. register. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go check some of this out. But the original building that they built, it burned down. It was a wooden building. It was across the street. They built the one that's over there. It's a block building. Um, and it's it's still up. It's still across the street. Yeah. And then we moved over here in 99. Oh, we wow. Because that building got too small. And yeah. we had... Um, well, you guys stay busy all the time. All the time. Well, that one had five booths, two tables, and I think there was three seats at the bar. That was all it had. That table right there was one of the two tables that was still over there. Oh the my chairs. gosh. Yeah. So and it's like 60 years old. Years oh my old. gosh. Because I saw the established up there on that side. And so I was like, has this been around that long? I didn't realize it's been two different buildings. So. Yeah, it was that little one that's right across the street. How cool. And I'm guessing, did you work over there too? I and did. Because I think I was 15 or 16. Yeah. When we came over here. Oh, how awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. So she was telling me that this photo is the original owner, Cotton. Ralph Cotton, I think she said. God, how cool is that? And it was two different buildings. And that there is a guy that makes these right here around the lake, brings them in. And then um, all this artwork is by local artists. 
someone named Wayne Bass, I believe, painted this one. I think the phone's been constantly ringing and I've already seen two people pick up to go orders the short few minutes we've been here. It's a happening place. So. Look at that side of mac and cheese. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Get ready. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all need anything else for right now? I think we're good right now. Thank you. Y'all enjoy. Look at that massive amount of meat. Oh my gosh, that's so good. All right, let's dig in. All right, we just put some sauce on here. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm, it's so warm, but it's so good. It's definitely a tangy, tangy kind of sauce. I think that's the right way to describe it. A little, a little bit of spice, spice yeah. has a little bit of a tame. It's really good. My mouth is on fire from that sauce. That's super good. How's your hamburger steak? Very good, huge. Okay, so the sauce definitely makes this plate for me, and it definitely packs a heat. Um, I can feel it in my mouth. I mean, it got so much flavor. Um, I'm a huge fan of this sauce. It, it's definitely different though, so I don't know if it's for everybody. For me though, it's awesome. Okay, so we are back here at Cotton's Barbecue. Our first experience was absolutely incredible. Great food. We absolutely love the environment and the barbecue, but when we were looking around, we noticed everyone around us kept ordering these massive cheeseburgers. Everybody was. And so we were like, there must be something to these burgers. So we came back. This is day two at Cotton's to see what the story is behind these burgers everyone's getting. Let's go. What are you getting? So this time I'm gonna do a large cheeseburger. Let's see that on the menu. Can you open it? Okay, so this time Steven's gonna do the large cheeseburger. I think I'm gonna do a double cheeseburger. Lemon. Interesting. All right, so this is our setup. We've got ranch, lemon for the sweet tea and water, their barbecue sauce, which is fantastic, and then some ketchup. Are those ours coming out? Man. Oh, wow. Well, that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Did y'all need anything else for right now? Um, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, look at that. That's a double cheeseburger. And there's lettuce, onion, pickle, mustard, tomato. ketchup, tomato. We have side of onion rings. The burger normally comes with their barbecue sauce on it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Would you get the extra large cheeseburger? Just the large. Just the large burger. It looks like it comes with a sesame bun, french fries. All right. Oh, wow. Look at all that onion and pickle. Man. Looks good. It's, it's very hot. So I'm going to let it cool so a little bit longer if I take a bite. It's fresh off the grill. Okay, I'm going to attempt to take a bite out of this beast. Oh my gosh. This cheeseburger looks amazing. It's got two different patties, lettuce, tomato, uh, pickle, onion, um, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, um, and it usually comes with their barbecue sauce on it, but I got on the side because I think I'm gonna try dipping it first because that sauce is a little tangy. Let's see, let's let's try it out. It was a big bite. Mmm. Mmm. 
wow. Look at that. That is insane. This is so good. Okay, now I see why everybody is ordering the burgers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good burger. Okay, you can try yours now. <laughs> There's a lot of cheese up front. I'm trying to decide if I want to. I think I'm going to cut mine in half. You should. Yeah, that's a big burger to tackle. Mm. Look at that. That is incredible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, so juicy, massive, cheesy, juicy. I mean, I think that's the word to describe these burgers. Unbelievably flavorful. It's probably one of the best burgers I've had around by far. <laughs> These onion rings are insanely good. This might be equally as delicious, if not better than the cheeseburger itself. And I've been dipping it in this ranch and it tastes like buttermilk ranch. Maybe it's homemade. We might need to find that out. But these are so good. I cannot recommend it enough. And the cheeseburger, I put um, some of their homemade sauce on the cheeseburger and I was right. It gave it a little zip, a little zing. Um, and so that flavor may not be for everyone. I I personally really enjoyed it, but I seem to really like their sauce. It's, um, so that might be something that you'll want to experiment with as well. But overall, the, the ranch, the sauce, the onion rings, the burger, I mean, I, I cannot emphasize how delicious this food is. We absolutely loved it. This was a good call to come back and try the cheeseburgers. Um, I am so glad that we came back and had this second trip here at Cotton's Barbecue. You have to come out and try it and let us know if you like the barbecue better or the cheeseburgers. And don't forget to take a photo with one of them or the big sign and send it over to us and we'll feature you on our social media or even website um, and follow our blog Pelican Point Expeditions on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Lake Martin TV, any one of those uh, to see where we stop by next. Never miss an adventure. Like and follow Pelican Point Expeditions on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And stay tuned for the next episode on Lake Martin TV.